Fishermen work in rough seas all the time, especially the winter fishery in southwestern Nova Scotia. But increasingly, bad weather is keeping them ashore there, according to a survey used in the climate change assessment. The response that we got back was about a third of available fishing days were lost due to bad weather. Mind you, they you know, go a bit further out there than maybe in, in other areas. 300 fishermen were interviewed on wharves across the province in an effort to gauge climate vulnerability in harvesting. Most said they are seeing the effects of climate change. In the two southwestern fishing areas, fishermen believe the day's loss trend will continue. As we move forward in the future, uh, we have to start considering more things like uh, vessel safety, emergency response, uh, design around uh, vessels, um, flexibility to fishing dates, and I think they're doing a good job of that already in terms of you know, days and, and seasons. The provincial government agency also looked at expected ocean temperatures to 2055. One of the key takeaways, the effect on lobster in a warming scenario, is encouraging. Average temperatures, I would like to say, um, are still within the ranges that um, you know, different life stages of lobsters can you know, withstand. They're not going to be totally immune. In the Northumberland Strait, temperatures are expected to creep out of the optimal range for juveniles. The results are an average of each lobster fishing area, not necessarily reflective of all locations within the LFA. The surveys show fishermen are climate change believers, concerned about its future impact. Still, when they were asked how much income loss it would take to get them to stop fishing, they were quite resilient. In southwestern Nova Scotia, most said they would stay in it with half the money. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.